Hello, everybody, and welcome to Why is the Mouse in the Screen? Uh, I don't know. Put it somewhere where it doesn't show up. There we go. Welcome <clears throat> to a set of Corsa and the Nord Schleife, where I thought we could uh, take a nice. Leisurely drive around it. No. No uh, stress. No nothing. Just me. A manual clutch. And an H shifter. And uh, apparently damage on. Maybe ill advised. <laughs> So, uh, this has come as part of an update, as part of a DLC called the Dream Pack with a couple of, of cars. This, uh, Nordschleife for, uh, your ultimate driving experience. Lazy scan for the first time. Things like that. And I must say, it's it's quite a track. Um, last time I think I had this in the game might have been Gran Turismo 4 on your PlayStations, but of course then I played with the controller and super casual without all the all the experience that I'm having now. Now I'm back with the, the wheel and an eight shifter and the clutch pedal and the, all the things to make it even harder. I don't know the track real well, which you might guess from the way I'm driving. Yeah, hmm. Not the best gear choice. Anyway, I thought, you know what? I just played some uh, Dirt Rally, the Pikes Peak episode, which uh, is available on my channel for your enjoyment. And while I have the racing wheel plugged in, why not? snap I completely forgot about that turn I think that's the most forgotten about turn in the history of the Nordschleife uh, yeah while well, I have the racing wheel plugged in why not take take a crack at the at the green hell um, and I don't think I mentioned it yet but we are in the Alfa Romeo Giulietta. I chose this car because uh, it's not too fast. It's it's a good driving around vehicle for uh, having Sunday drives in. You know, it's a standard street car, and it also has a full manual transmission, so I can. Hone my ew, my clutch wielding skills a bit. We are not assisted by any double clutch flappy paddle situation. It's just all all driving pleasure, pleasure. Uh, if you if you uh, take a look at the bottom of the screen, uh, right next to the gear indicator, you will see my uh, pedal movement. Blue is clutch, green is go, and red is supposedly stop. So you can, you can see what my, my feet are doing 
as well as what my uh, my hands are up to on the steering wheel. And I must say, uh, coming from the Pikes Peak hill climb in in Dirt Rally, in the rain, nonetheless. All right, I mean, get yourself a a cap full of that thinking in the rain with cars that have literally no downforce. They float over the track. Uh, coming back to this is so relaxed. I mean, what are we driving at? 130? Feels comparatively like I'm, like I'm doing 60 or something. And that's uh, kilometers per hour, not not that crazy uh, miles per hour nonsense that the that the colonies use. <laughs> okay, onto the carousel. Oops, too much on the inside. That was not good through there. You may hear that my voice today is very calm. I don't know... I don't know why that is. It must be just because of the contrast between the two games. Oh, whoops. No power in fourth. Okay. Just a small amount of lifting. I should do, I should do, easy. Oh, I'm coming super fast. Thank God, it's an uphill turn. Which I cannot say about this one. Uh, I'm not sure if this car has traction control. And I'm not eager to find out. So I'm, I'm using the... The brake pedal very... Gingerly. If you will. I don't want to... To cause any spin outs. Alright. Yeah, use the track. Whoa, but not like that. I think it has, because there I stepped on the brake like a maniac. Um, I have the traction control setting to to uh, factory, so cars that have traction control have traction control and cars that don't, well, uh, they don't. And since this is a street car, it probably has traction control. Oh, braking way too early for this turn. Need some power through here, and that's why I'm downshifting to third. Another banking. Oof. That did not go well. I don't know what the good time is for uh, this car. But I know I'm not going to reach it. I'm taking not enough risks for this to be like a super fast lap. But we're almost up to 200 kilometers per hour, which is neat. Alright. Are we going up to 6? Maybe. Oh, uphill. Oh, yes, we are. Just have to break early enough. It's a slight left-hander coming up. And now we go down to third.
and down to second for the for the lap 924 I think we might just give this another shot a drive around one more time Keep it on the track, keep it on. Okay, second may have been a bit too low of a gear. Okay, that felt quite fluent and, uh, you know, fluent is usually quite fast. If you don't have any huge chicks and chunks in your in your driving, that's that's usually a good sign. Uh, you can see my ghost. I'm haunted. You can see my ghost in the rear view mirror. Well, not anymore, but on the straight you could. Ah, oh, there it is again. Super. So uh, we just stay ahead of that guy. He's not so good at driving, so it shouldn't be a problem. Easy. Don't know why I shifted to fourth there for, for a quick second. It's not like we're sequential and need to go through the turns. But, uh, through the gears, I mean. We do need to go... <laughs> Even with a sequential car, you do need to go through the turns. You just cannot go straight. That's that turn. This time I was looking at the mini-map before coming up to it. Whoop. So I knew all about it. I foiled you. <clears throat> I foiled your plans, game. I foiled them. Aluminium foil. That's right. I pronounce it aluminium because I know what's good for you. Actually, I pronounce it aluminium because that's what it is in German. It's also how the word is written in the scientific sense. So, uh, makes sense. But well, let's not go into the difference between British English and American English because A that discussion leads nowhere and B since I'm Swiss I also have a uh, really no say in it. I I choose my words from left and from right what feels better. I interchangeably use British and American pronunciation leaning more to the American side usually I think um, since TV and movies uh, are usually American or there's just just not usually there's just more of them in my life at least but then again I learned a British the Oxford English in school and then I am Swiss so you know I, I add my own accent so it's all moot right I could be ooh, ghosts right behind me I could be speaking with a much heavier Swiss accent, or I could lean more towards one or the other side, but all in all, you get the gist of what I'm saying, and that's the important bit right here. Also, I'm learning every every word that I speak in the English tongue. I'm learning. I'm furthering my education. Whoa. Kind of snuck up on me. 
Okay, we're coming to the to the infield. I should really enable the the turn names. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I have those. I have those uh, German names pop up. And then I could impress you with my language skills. Because I can't really impress you with my driving skills, can I? Okay, I'm just about five seconds faster than last time around, uh, consistently. That usually means that at the beginning of the lap I did a five second boo boo. And now I'm pretty much driving the same as the last lap. This is a good car. I like the design of it. I uh I enjoy the handling, it's it's not crazy or anything, it's just it does what I tell it to do. And the slow speed means um my brain is, is having time to think about things that I wanted to do. Oh stay on it. Should have downshifted. Should have downshifted. I'm gonna do it now. It's it's really impressive to me at least how quickly I've learned to uh, manually shift with clutch and aid shifter because um, when I got the wheel, I of course tried it out. I think here in the set, of course, because I don't. Ooh. I don't really have any other games that, or I didn't have any other games that, that made use of it or that I wanted to use it in. Oof. And, and now it, it almost feels like a, a second nature. I'm. I'm not, I'm generally not uh, missing the clutch, like that, that's a big problem, right, you wanna, in, you kinda hastily shifting because the turn is coming up that you maybe didn't anticipate or something went wrong and you have to go into reverse real quick. And you have to press the clutch, right? <laughs> Like, it's not an option to not press it. It's generally how uh, these cars work. But, you know, maybe you... You get that synchronous shift, like, right in there. But that would be... an amazing coincidence. Uh, so, so, that doesn't happen anymore to me. Which, which I'm uh, really glad for, about, I don't know. All right, let's concentrate here so we don't mess up the, the entry. Slow down slightly, okay, slow down a bit more. I think third is, is applicable here, maybe second through here. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, four seconds faster. Um, I will have to look up. Oh, okay. Oh, totally missed that. Thank you very much. Um, I will have to look up good times in this car to know uh, if I did horribly or, or terribly. Yeah, I'm catching up, noob. Learn to play, sucker. 
Now I'm going on a on a risky business mission. I have had two good laps. And I'm gonna take risks. I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna go attack the curbs. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting reckless. Full, full, full out. Oh, not full out. Slightly lifting. <laughs> wow. The adrenaline oh, my body produces is amazing. Oh. Okay, calm down again, buddy. Tyler will say thank me. Will say thank you. Why don't you hate it when you start a sentence and you intend to end it differently, but then you switch halfway through? Uh oh, 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 oh! The race did not pay off. Wow. Oh, I mean, oh, I want to go to second, not to. Freaking, freaking fourth. Why would I go to fourth game? Hmm? Can you not anticipate my shifting errors? <sighs> there I go, last lap. Talking about how amazing I am at shifting. And then I'm accidentally in, in fourth when I actually want to be in second. There's so much time to be made up. I mean, I crashed twice this lap. Oh, shit. Thrice now. And I can still somewhat catch up. I mean, my concentration is now kind of gone. Because why would I concentrate if I already messed up? Ooh, front left. He's taking a beating. Talking about the tire. Not. Whoops. Not about. Ooh, no. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, you can kind of say goodbye to this lap, so. Uh, I don't know. I think. I don't really feel like finishing it. Oh, but maybe it's good practice Oof, to kind of... Oh, that's the handbrake button. I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see where the handbrake was. And I found it. Oh, there goes my ghost. Okay, look. Mm, I can't hold my wheel straight anymore. When I want to go straight in the car. Yeah, okay. My concentration is gone. I think there's no point in uh, continuing this this drive and this video. So, I hope you enjoyed these, at least the first two laps of the Nürn, Nürnburgring. Actually, it's pronounced Nürn, Nürburgring, but... You can say Nürnberg. I don't blame you. Look at that! Handbrake turn! Yeah, okay, that didn't... <laughs> that didn't quite work out. Um, get a load of that. Blow in the motor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.